the exercise that I've noticed that really just kind of makes you feel better is the supinated front raise. And so you haven't done these very much yourself, have you? You've taught them, but no. Okay, so I know I want to have her. I'll have her. I want to have her do both arms. I want her bad arm. I want to know what normal strength is for her, so that her bad arm will eventually match or exceed her good arm when we're done. Okay, so I would start her off. She's reasonably fit, so I'm gonna start her off with three pounds, and that's being cautious. Okay, and and just come up till yeah, just till horizontal. And do 15 of those. Keeping your pinky high. If anything, you try to have your pinky slightly higher than your thumb as they come up. So what I'm trying to do is really rotate and put the cortical brachialis on top. Have your elbow slightly bent, okay? Cortical brachialis and the short head of the biceps on top to put the most tension through there. I actually, when I first came up with this, I, did, I drew that line there and I measured it. From right there to there, you get the most shortening and then once you start going up above 90 degrees, it doesn't get any shorter that I've noticed. Wait, so, put it down again. You want to look at the that little line. Yeah. That little so line. So that is okay. that far, and that is that far where the muscle contracts. And then as you went up higher, it didn't seem to shorten anymore. So I think you're getting a full muscle contraction by doing just up there to 90 degrees. Okay? And I'm not having to worry about any impingement, because you do want to wonder if you have impingement in there, maybe going higher is worse. How's this feeling? Okay. So do 15 of those. Normally when I'm doing this, I, so I'm, I'm doing an exercise to stress that tendon to make that tendon better and people will be apprehensive about it. And so I'll tell them, well, here we're gonna put some stress through it. Generally, I wanna do enough weight that'll hurt some, but because I'm doing usually three sets, I do an easy set, a medium set, and a hard set. Three sets of 15, as long as the form is good. And usually I tell them this happens 99 out of 100 of my patients with just tendinopathy in general for any of my body parts is first set hurts a little bit. I increase the weight, they're worried it's gonna hurt worse, but it doesn't. Second set, you can say, ah, it's heavier, it's harder, but it feels about the same. And they say, okay, well, if the technique looks good, I'm gonna increase the weight again. And they'll be apprehensive about that, but I'll say, well, this is what happens. 99 out of 100, I'll just say, third set, was harder, but if anything, it felt better than the first set. So usually just the exercise itself makes it feel better.